Future RNs, we're about to give you everything you need to master nitroglycerin for the NCLEX, so if you want to knock the NCLEX out of the park, keep on watching. Nitroglycerin is a vasodilator that is used to treat chest pain. In this mnemonic video, I will teach you an easy way to remember everything you need to know about nitroglycerin, both for test day and in your clinical practice. So let's get started. It's the middle of the night, and Grandma is in the kitchen getting a midnight snack. She's in her nightgown, of course, as grandmas often are. This nightgown is going to be our symbol for nitroglycerin. Get it? Nightgown for nitroglycerin? Easy, right? Nitroglycerin falls into the drug category of nitrates. Let's start off with talking about how nitrates actually work. While grandma was grabbing a midnight snack, she discovered a robber in her house. This robber was opening his drawstring bag to examine all the money and jewelry he just stole. By the way, this drawstring bag being stretched open should remind you of vasodilation, since blood vessels are stretched open wider in vasodilation. Nitroglycerin and most other nitrate drugs work by causing vasodilation. Vasodilation of the veins reduces venous return to the heart, reducing preload on the heart, while vasodilation of the arteries reduces resistance to blood flow, reducing afterload on the heart. So all in all, nitroglycerin really reduces the work of the heart. Nitroglycerin also vasodilates the coronary arteries, meaning the heart will get more blood flow and oxygen. All of this should set up a nice foundation of how nitroglycerin is used clinically. This robber chose the wrong grandma to rob. Grandma here is a feisty one, and she's not afraid to kick the robber in the chest. Man, that's gotta hurt. Getting kicked in the chest is our symbol for chest pain, or angina. Nitroglycerin is used to treat both acute and chronic chest pain due to coronary artery disease. Since this pain is caused by ischemia of the heart, nitroglycerin relieves the pain here by reducing the workload of the heart and by increasing blood flow supplying the heart, as we just discussed. The treatments for acute and chronic angina are slightly different, so let me quickly review them for you. For a patient experiencing an acute anginal attack, nitroglycerin will most commonly be given sublingually, as a tablet that dissolves under the tongue. One tablet can be given every 5 minutes, up to a max of 3 doses in 15 minutes. For patients going home with nitroglycerin tablets, you'll want to teach them to call 911 if their chest pain does not resolve after the first dose. Now, for a patient who experiences chronic angina, it's more likely that they will be prescribed nitroglycerin as an oral extended release pill or a transdermal patch. Like most patch medications, the patch should be applied to the upper arms or torso, removed every 12 hours, and rotated between different sites. Got that? Great, now that we've covered the clinical uses of nitroglycerin, let's move on to its potential side effects. Grandma thought ahead, and before confronting the robber, she snuck outside and popped the robber's bike tires. Yep, with those flat deflating tires, the robber isn't going to get far. When you think about these deflating bike tires, I want you to think about low blood pressure. Because the pressure is going down in these tires, just like how our blood pressure goes down with hypotension. Nitroglycerin can cause hypotension, which makes sense since we just talked about how it works by causing vasodilation. Reducing venous return to the heart reduces cardiac output, and vasodilation of the arteries reduces vascular resistance to blood flow, both of which lead to a decrease in blood pressure. Therefore, at high doses, nitroglycerin can cause hypotension, presenting as dizziness, lightheadedness, weakness, and flushing. You should take your patient's blood pressure before administering nitroglycerin and hold the medication if the systolic pressure is below 90. It's also a good idea to have your patient lay in bed or sit down while they take nitroglycerin to prevent falls caused by the dizziness. After all, patient safety is our top priority. You know how back in the day, parents and teachers would use paddles to discipline naughty people? Well, grandma still has hers, and in this situation, that turned out to be a good thing. She has used the paddle to smack the robber right in the noggin, with enough force to break it clean in half. This broken paddle reminds me of PDE inhibitors. You know, since PDE stands for paddle. Well, actually, PDE stands for phosphodiesterase, and this broken paddle is here to remind you of PDE inhibitors, which are strictly contraindicated with nitroglycerin. And as a reminder, PDE inhibitors are your erectile dysfunction drugs, like sildenafil, commonly known as Viagra. Why are these drugs contraindicated with each other? Well, nitroglycerin and PDE inhibitors are both vasodilators, and if taken together, they act synergistically to cause severe, life-threatening hypotension. It's important to ask your patient if they are currently taking any phosphodiesterase inhibitors before giving them nitroglycerin. After getting hit in the head with a paddle, this robber is definitely going to have a headache in the morning. Which reminds me, headaches are the most common side effect of nitroglycerin. This is an expected side effect, so no need to get worried and call the doctor for this one. The headache can usually be treated with acetaminophen or aspirin. 
After this encounter with the robber, Grandma has forgotten all about her midnight snack. Look, she's left her freezer open and the popsicles are melting on the floor. Popsicles go bad when they're left out of the freezer in the heat and light. You know, that's similar to nitroglycerin, in that nitroglycerin tablets are heat and light sensitive. These tablets are usually kept in a dark bottle and you should tell your patient to keep them in a dark, cool place in order to prevent the drug from breaking down. Before we summarize what we've learned, be sure to like this video, subscribe for more great content, and leave us a comment about what other topics you'd like to see us cover. And visit us at PixRise.com. Well, that's one point for grandma, zero points for the robber. Let's summarize what we've learned. Nitroglycerin is a vasodilating drug that is used to treat chest pain, also called angina. Potential side effects include hypotension, which can be potentially life-threatening if nitroglycerin is taken along with PDE inhibitors like sildenafil. Other side effects of nitroglycerin include headache. And lastly, nitroglycerin tablets are sensitive to heat and light and should be stored in a cool, dark place. And that covers everything. Thanks for joining me in this mnemonic video, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.